very, very heavy rains also occurring with this. Rainfall totals now pushing uh, anywhere from 5 to 9, 10 inches in the southern part of the county, down into Bazoria County and Galveston County. We do have flooding going on on Keegan's Bayou. We are expecting flooding along Clear Creek, watching Bray's Bayou and Meyerland very closely. We could have some, some flooding in the Meyerland area along Bray's Bayou, so if you're in that area, be paying attention to the water. Also on White Oak Bayou, uh, paying attention to that. And really this whole mess of heavy rain is lifting to the north, and so we're anticipating additional potential flooding on the north side. Luckily, most people are not out driving. You cannot drive right now uh, with the conditions we have and the flooding we have ongoing. And then down on the coast on the bay, five to six feet of water level rise right now in Galveston Bay on the west side at Kima and Seabrook of inundation coming in from the seawater. That's that storm surge coming in from Galveston Bay in the Gulf of Mexico. So we are we are taking it on the chin in virtually every aspect this morning. The good news is within the next two to three hours, we're probably we're going to get through, get into the eye and get to the backside. The backside is a lot weaker than the front side here that we're going through. And by noon, one o'clock, most of the high winds um, and most of the heavy rain will be over with. So we've got to just get through the next uh, two or three, four hours here, hunkered down and, and then go towards uh, what has happened in the recovery aspect. 1.3 million now uh, customers without power across the center points network. And Jeff, uh, real quick, can you tell us the, you know, what are the major signs uh, as far as like when we're looking at the, the difference between like wind versus gusts, what does all that mean? Because a lot of people, you know, we hear this gusts versus winds. Uh, can you explain that? Yeah, and, and, you really, and we're kind of splitting hairs, but, you know, sustained wind is for one minute the wind blows at that amount or higher. So let's say sustained wind of 45. So for one minute the wind is blowing 45 or higher. And then you may get these peak three-second gusts, we call them three-second gusts, that could jump up to 60 or 70 or, or 80 miles an hour. Um, and it is the gusts that tend to cause the damage. I mean, if, if you, you can hear it out there, you can hear the wind blowing and roaring, and you'll hear these gusts, and it kind of increases to a, a loud roar, even a whistling sound. And that's typically when you start getting up 70, 75 miles an hour, which uh, we're getting right now in the western and southwestern metro. Once again, we're talking to Jeff Linder. He is the meteorologist for Harris County. Jeff, uh, once again, if somebody's just tuning in, they're just waking up, what is the first thing they should be doing right now? Obviously, not going outside is, is, is the priority, but uh, should people be hunkering down in the middle of the house? Yeah, at this point, with this northeastern eye wall coming in, we want people away from the windows into an interior room. Just the same precautions you would take for a tornado, you need to be taking right now, getting away from those windows, uh, doors, anything like that, an interior room, a pantry, a closet, a restroom, something like that with no windows. Maybe take a blanket in there in case you do have some, some structural damage occur as this eye wall comes in. Um, and, and really just, you know, most of us are without power at this point. Um, and we need to start preparing ourselves. This is going to be days on the power restoration, not hours. We're talking days here. Days without power is what we're looking at right now. Jeff, uh, you mentioned as far as structural damage. Here's a big question because the storm we had, uh, what is it, six weeks ago where we had all the trees come down. What, uh, I mean, what kind of damage are we looking at here? I mean, structural damage for the homes here in Houston, Texas. I think for the most part, we're not looking at, you know, big structure damage, you know, roofs blown off or that type of stuff. This is mainly going to be trees and vegetation and power infrastructure. You're talking the poles and the wires and stuff like that. Fences, uh, those could blow down. Anything that was left out that's loose is probably blowing around out there. But we're not talking walls and windows and doors and, and roofs blown off. Um, you know, garage doors right now could be buckling a little bit with this type of wind. Uh, so not significant structure damage, but a, but a but kind of a mess, you know, if you will, to to clean up and have to deal with. And of course, you take a tree into the house, and and that's a big issue. And and we could be having that going on right now. I can tell you, Jeff, we're on the seventh floor right now. Double pane glass and the glasses. You can hear it, guys. Can y'all hear that? Yeah, it's you can put your hand up against it, and it's like you can see it. Like you can see it right us, now. It's very scary. And if you're looking outside, you can see that the wind is going sideways. The rain is going sideways. The I'm assuming because of the wind being so strong that's why the rain is going sideways yeah jeff when are we going to see these winds die down if people are just tuning in right now we're talking to jeff lindner he is the meteorologist for harris county jeff when can we see the heavy winds die down 
I think by noon today we will be out of the uh, winds above 40 miles an hour. So we, we've got a, we've got another, you know, three or four hours to get through this. And the really worst parts here in the next hour, hour and a half, that's, that's when we really need to be, you know, taking those precautions like you would for a tornado. And once again, if people are in the house right now, stay away from the windows. Uh, and then, Jeff, what time are we looking at the rains just basically to die down? Because, I mean, we're looking at flooding all over the city. When are we going to say, uh, when are we going to see the rains die down? Yeah, I think pretty similar on the, as to the winds, probably around that noon to one o'clock time, maybe a little bit sooner, um, but at you know noon to one o'clock. And of course, the rains may stop, but that doesn't mean the water goes away. It's going to take some time to drain off this amount of water and, you know, watching the creeks and the bayou. So we could still have flooding going on even into the afternoon and evening hours. And, you know, at this point with everything that's happening with potential debris on the roads, power lines, trees, the flooding, even if the conditions improve and they will improve, do not get out on the roads. And if you do, treat every intersection like a four-way stop because we practically lost all of our signal capabilities. So all the uh, all the red oh, lights, yes. all the turn signals, yep. everything is down right now all across the Houston area. Over 1.3 million people without power in the KRBE listening area right mm-hmm. now. Jeff, thank you so much. And uh, we'd love to check back with you later. You are always the man to go to when we're in these kind of crisis. And uh, we're looking at, like, you said by the way tomorrow what are we looking at tomorrow like as far as like i mean are things should return like are we, you mentioned yeah. it takes a while for this rain to drain off are we, you know are we looking at being able to return to the roads tomorrow oh i i think you know we'll have to check see the assessments today and what we're looking at out there with the roads but uh for the most part it's going to be a, a, a kind of a typical summer day tomorrow on the back side of this thing so like uh like it was a couple of days ago. But, uh, of course, we're left with the cleanup and recovery at that point. Mm-hmm. But when we have these kind of high waters build up, how long does it normally take for those uh, waters to drain off? Yeah, if, if you know, once we once the drainage systems can catch up um, and the rain stops, you know, anywhere from 8 to 12 hours and maybe into tomorrow morning for some locations. But for the most part, uh, we'll, we'll have most of the flooding gone by tomorrow. All right. Thank you so much, Jeff Linder, Chief Meteorologist. Thank you so much, Jeff. It's crazy behind the scenes here. I'm literally holding my cell phone up to the microphone because the phone system, and a lot of people are suffering from this right now. Oh, yeah. Now. Right. Like they're, power, they're having problem uh, with their phones, with their data. I know that people are getting frustrated. If you have an old school radio, this is the way. This is where power of radio yes Mm -hmm. or if your phone is charged you can download our free app krbe and stream us or krbe.com um our phone lines are down but you can still text us to keep us updated with what's going on and if you have any questions like we just asked uh jeff Liner about the tornado gust and the wind our text number is three seven five three zero we're trying to sing and keep everybody happy, happy but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know because a lot of people are without power. Um, my house has been holding off. Uh, we're a little bit you north still of, have power. We're a little bit north of downtown, but um, my husband said that it keeps flickering on and off. So I think we are finally losing power, and this is um, a little bit north of downtown in Ryan, your Jersey Village. You do oh, yeah, not have power. They lost power like about. Um, an hour do and you want to say what uh, like neighborhood you're in? Yeah, I'm in like the West Chase area, a little bit. Farther from the station. Okay, and do you have uh, power? My boyfriend says we still have. You power. still have power. Yes. Okay, because you know, on our way here, the hotel we stayed in, Had our no building power. does not. We just luckily have a generator. Um, our boss Leslie lives in Spring Cypress, Cypress. area, Cypress and area. they lost power. Um, so it's just springs, springs out. Springs out. Right yeah, we're now. getting. A lot of t- Oh, yeah. Here, flip the mic <laughs> yeah. on real quick. Leslie B. Hey, it's been a while since <laughs> you've been on the it's air. It's been a minute. Uh, yeah, but you're out of power. That's yeah, in it's, Cyprus. It's all over the place. I'm checking in with people, and, you know, this is this storm is not discriminating on where power hour, I think what, power uh, outages happen. So. I think what was so uh, sobering to me was when we were talking to Jeff Linder, he's like, yeah, we're not talking about losing power for a few hours. It's going to be days. It is. It days is. And that's a, I just texted that to my family. I'm like, like oh, yeah. no. Like, hunker down. Scary. Uh, Scary. Baytown is now without power. We just got a text. Once again, I'm talking about KRBE's text line, 37530. You can text us. Um, someone said they're in Katy. Uh, ask where the wall is. Oh, the eye. The is, eye I, th- I think you would. You know, because this came in dirty, dirty side in. So we got the dirty end of it, and then the eye 
is the calm area, and he said that the tail end of it's not going to be nearly as strong. So we're not going to be dealing with it. I think the eye is around the Fort Bend County area right now. Yeah, at the moment. Towards, yeah, the West Houston and also towards downtown, the west side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have um, an account executive that lives in Sugarland, Raquel. She's currently sitting in her car listening to us and charging her phone. Please be careful. If you are out in your car. That's really the only That's reason you would scary. want to be. They lost theirs at 5 I, this morning. I wouldn't yeah. even be wow. outside for that right now. I mean, Jeff be said safe that with the, the wind gust. Yeah, he Woo. said that the winds and the heavy mm-hmm. rains should die down around lunchtime. Yeah. The rain should be gone like sometime after 2 o'clock. We shouldn't be dealing with any more rain. And he said tomorrow is going to be a typical Houston summer day. None of us want to hear that. Right. With, with no heat. power. Because right now it's currently, what, 75 here in Houston, yeah. I believe, or Feels 77. And yeah, it, it's not too hot yet. Uh, still the heavy rain, like you said, it's probably going to stay until uh, 12 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I keep looking on my app because I have, you know, the, the basic Google app, and it just is telling me about the tornado watch um, that we're expected to last until 10 a.m. Right now it's saying the rain's getting lighter, so hopefully it'll lighten up a little bit in 37 minutes is what my phone is saying for where we're located. Um, but every place is different, sadly, <laughs> so just because of this area. But if you want to check the rainfall, we have a great website that we're pushing. It's Harris County F ws.org it's harris county flood warning system so this is the amount of rain that is hitting in your area by inches it gives you a good idea um exactly what's happening because like we said the storm's coming you know from the south and moving up north so right now the numbers are pretty high uh in the south oh it's amazing I mean, it looks like up north is a little bit lower. I mean, yeah, points at, at the almost moment, almost eight inches of rain in certain areas. Uh, the right by our office is like eight point four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's just climbing right now. So if you can stay at home, please stay at home so that your cars aren't getting flooded out. Like Jeff said, we are having to take this very, very seriously. You're in the middle of a hurricane right now. You said stay away from those windows. Yes. Get in yes. the center of the house. Go in a pantry. Go in a closet. Just stay away. And uh, I'll tell you what, it is now 8, 11. Like I said, so many people without power, so many people having problems with their cell phones. If you're listening on an old school radio with your batteries in that radio, yes. just remember, hunker down right now. This uh, this is something we can get through. It's only a couple more hours. We're looking at like under four hours from now, we should be through the worst of this. So I'll tell you what, it is 8, 12 right now. We'll be right back on the Rulin' Ryan Show. All right, it is now 8.18. We are giving the time throughout the morning because so many people are having issues with their phone and a lot of people listening on an old school radio with their batteries right now. We're in Hurricane Barrel. Uh, Let's see, it's a Category 1 right now, Mm -hmm. about a million point three. I mean, think about that. Or without power. A million three hundred thousand without power right now, about a million three hundred and thirty three thousand. So we are under tornado watch until 10 a.m., and also a flood watch is in effect. I mean, we were just talking to Jeff Lindner, who is the Harris County meteorologist, and he's like, you don't need to be outside for any reason whatsoever. Not right now, not even to charge a device right now. This yeah. is a hurricane, folks. So he's saying hunker down, find a safe place in the house, uh, especially if you've got old windows. Like, I mean, you know, like uh, my house has got those 1978 windows and I'm sure they're buckling right now. So stay away from those open windows right now. Absolutely. Especially with trees and debris. Well, he was even around. saying, like, when he says, like, bunker in, if you start hunker. hearing, hunker in. Hunker in. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in um, something else. Uh, if you start hearing the wind gusts and, you know, your windows are making these noises, it's not ridiculous to go into a bathroom or a closet with right. no windows and stay safe with your family. I mean, we're not joking when we're saying it's a hurricane one uh, in we're a on sense the with se- the, the wind gusts. But I just, yeah. I'm just i just saying, I know previous storms were like, oh, it's fine. But no, this one is scary in the sense that like we need to make sure that we are staying safe and go inside your house and be away from those windows. Because if that glass shatters, like you said, with your old windows, oh, yeah. that's going to go everywhere. Or at least with like the newer technology, the windows kind of stay together. And hopefully that doesn't happen. But you definitely want to make I'm sure you're I'm looking at safe. Ahmad and he's turning around looking at the window. We're seven yeah. floors up in the, <laughs> and we have I, two window like panes. This window. They're like wobbling. And they're wobbling. <laughs> Yeah. I um, mean, it's scary right now, but we've got high water reported all over mm-hmm. the city of Houston. The eye, uh, Leslie B, making your return to the airwaves here. Where's the eye right now? <laughs> the last report that we had was the eye was over Needville, headed towards Fort Bend County. Uh, do you see any updates on that? 
since you're the one that's been uh, glancing at that. Yeah, I'm the weather dork. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're really it's perfect. Into that. We need you. It looks like it's real close to Sugarland right now. The eye is really yep. close to Sugarland. So, and then once the eye passes, uh, Jeff said that uh, Jeff Linder said that it won't be as bad on the back end. We got the dirty side of this hurricane hitting yeah. us. Yeah. And that's the problem. And we have an, uh, um, an account executive, Raquel, that lives in Sugarland right now. So I just texted her asking her, can you see the eye? What's the weather like there? Um, so hopefully she can kind of give us a play-by-play. But if you want to give us a play-by-play as well, you can text KRBE's text line. We have that going. It's 37530. Um, we're getting a lot of text from people staying safe inside, luckily being able to listen to us as well with uh, battery-operated radios or even mm-hmm. um, listening on apps. Yeah. Which is great because we have the free KRBE app that you can stream us. Um, we're going to keep you updated with everything that we know. Here These in winds Houston. and rain should, as Jeff said, die down around noon. The rain, really the heavy rain, should subside around 2 p.m. today. But the one thing that we're going to be dealing dealing with for a long time is the power outages. Uh, Jeff yes, that's going to take weeks, not just days. And no, he's, Weeks? I know oh, days. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, days, not days. Weeks. Sorry. Days. Oh, maybe it's not yeah, weeks. Don't, don't freak me days. out there. It's days. Days. I'm sorry. We just got another text yeah. from a center point. Uh, this is from my brother who's currently at work for center point. 1.6 uh-huh. million. 1.6 million now yes. without power. Ooh. Yes. Wow. 1.6 million. Sorry. So yes. Pretty much. And it's... It's all over the place. It it's is. everywhere. It's, it's, it's not just in one area that's getting hit. Mm-mm. It's everywhere all across the uh, KRBE listening area right now. I know uh, right now pretty much everything is closed, even if you're thinking, which would be a bad idea to get in the car under any circumstance. But you're not missing anything. Everything is closed. Everything is closed. I mean, yeah. nobody is going to be on the roads. There is no reason to get behind the wheel of a car right now. It is not worth risking your life. And we just got an update. Um, the eye is over Richmond and Pecan Grove right now. So if you're in that area, definitely go inside. Make sure you're safe away from the windows. Um, that's Richmond and Pecan Grove right now. That's from Mo, who's one of our coworkers that lives in that area. Hey, remember how long it took to get power back? I think for me it was like five days. Mm-hmm. And now we're looking at already right now 1.6 million people without power. It's going to take some time. It's definitely yeah. going to take some time. And later on, because uh, we have Julie coming up from the SPCA, but uh, things to keep in mind when the refrigerator, you know, we lo- lose power. So what to do about the refrigerator? We can go into all of those details. And if you need us, you can text us at KRBE's text line 37530. A lot of people are giving us updates on what's going on with them. What's well, interesting in how we're communicating right now, because so many people right now, they're having data problems. Mm-hmm. They can't stream anything. They're going old school. They're listening to their battery powered radio right now. Yeah. Absolutely. And That's how it, Jules is listening to my best friend because she lost power. So she's cranking. I know her because I've seen her do it. She had to crank it up. She had to like go. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. I swear. They, yes. have the, they have these like yes. where you can actually hand crank the radio. And that's how hers to get works. power. It has power. And get it moving. You can charge your phone on it. You can use it hmm. for a flashlight. Every single oh, year she uses it. I don't want to charge it. a phone on that. That'd be a lot of crank in there. Like, but every single time oh she uses God. it, I'm like, I need to buy one. And I have been a cheap butt. And now I regret that. So yeah, that's, that's one of those her. Hurricane emergency kit. It is. It's worth need. it. Mm-hmm. You That's definitely need to buy. Have. So think how early we Amazon, are. Amazon, I'm checking you out today. <laughs> we're so early into hurricane season right now. We we're are. already dealing with this. This has convinced me generator for sure. Like I, I, I I'm yeah. not had a generator up till now, and I'm like, yeah, because I'm thinking like not gonna have power. Like if only a million people lost power during that storm six weeks ago, and we're right. already at 1.6 million. Keep climbing sadly. And, yeah, and Jeff Linder. Yeah, 1.6 is a big number. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. And that happened really fast. If, I think a lot of our texters were texting us that we they lost power as early as 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, because what, uh, barrel hit landfall around 3.55 3. this, this morning. morning. So um, on the plus and side, it's not going to be in. super hot today. No, thank God. So Tomorrow will be. Yeah, well, don't. Uh, hey, we got to <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I'm sorry. We're not going to have power for days, and it's going to be 100 degrees. That's the, you know. Yeah, but at least for today, right now, it's going to be um, hopefully not as hot, but still to stay inside. We're still keeping you updated with um, all of this. And people are texting also. You can text uh, weather to KRBE's text line so we can keep you updated with that. Text the keyword weather to 37530, and KRBE will send you weather updates as well. If you need something quick on your phone, uh, that keyword is weather to 37530, or you can text us and just keep listening. You know, it's interesting. A couple of weeks ago, we said that we uh, 
we we were speaking to a a male person. He happened to be a mailman, and mm-hmm. he's like, "Let me tell you some little something about Houston. Everybody's got a dog." Everybody in this city has got a dog. <laughs> yes. We love our pets. So I'll tell you what, we're going to have an, uh, Julie Kinstall from the SPCA is going to be joining us next and tell us what you need to know uh, as far as taking care of our furry friends. Like we said, no power for days on end. So we'll be talking to Julie coming up next on the Roland Ryan Show.